When I started calisthenic, there was no one to tell me what I should do and what I shouldn't. I learned everything by myself, I made a lot of mistakes, but the good thing is I learned from those mistakes. In this video you will learn the best way to build muscle with calisthenic. The first thing we will talk about is sets and reps. As beginner, if you can do more than 10 pull-ups or 10 dips, you should always max out your reps in every set. I can't tell you to do example 12 pull-ups in every set because maybe you don't have enough strength to perform those 12 pull-ups. So the best thing to do is always max out your reps. Sometimes you will do 10 reps, sometimes you will do 3 or 4 reps, but it doesn't matter. That's the best thing to do as a beginner to build that basic strength and muscle. So the next thing we will talk about is harder variations. At first I told you to always max out your reps and now you probably wonder what you should do when you get enough strength to perform 10 pull-ups or 20 dips in a set easily. Maybe you think you should increase those reps to do example 20 pull-ups in a set or 40 dips in a set, but that's a bad idea if you want to build muscle. The best way to build muscle is to do between 8 and 12 reps in a set. I will give you an example when you go to the gym. You go to the gym, you put 16 kilos on your bench press. You do it for 12 reps. You do 12 reps and you get tired, you can do more. After 2 or 3 weeks when you get used to those 12 reps and 60 kilos, you put more kilos, you put uh, 65 kilos, you do it for 12 reps and you get really tired and when again you get used to those reps you put more kilos and you put more and more and more and more and that's how you build muscle in a gym. But in calisthenic it's differently. So now you know the best thing to build muscle is to do between 8 and 12 reps in a set. That's 60 to 70 percent of your max strength rep. In calisthenic there's two ways. The first one is move on harder variations. Don't just increase reps over and over again, but do harder exercises. Example, when basic push-ups it's easy for you, you don't do any more basic push-ups, but you do archer push-ups, one-arm push-ups, diamond push-ups, you change those variations, you make it harder. That way you will stick to the best way to build muscle. The second thing you could do is start weighted calisthenic. When you get to some level where pull-ups, dips, push-ups becomes easy for you and you already did hard variations and that's not that hard as you want, you should start to add weight on your body weight training. So now you start to do weight pull-ups, weighted dips, weighted push-ups and every time increase those reps when you feel it's easy to go beyond 8 to 12 reps in a set. Also you can do 3 to 6 reps in a set, but that way you focus more on building strength than muscle. That's a different time and we won't talk about this right now. Let me say that again to you so you can understand it perfectly. So you feel comfortable to do 10 to 12 reps in a set. Don't just increase those reps, but choose harder exercises. Do harder exercises. Or add weight on your body weight training. Or even you can do both, the best thing to do is to do both. Don't go beyond 12 reps, but when it's easy, add more weight or harder exercises. It's simple. The last thing I will talk in this video is element training. By element training, I mean when you train to do front lever, back lever, human flag, dragon flag, can't stand and every other element, by training elements, the main thing you are working on is your static strength. It's like power lifting, but in calisthenic way. It depends on your goal how many times a week you will train elements. I can't tell you exactly how many times you should train front lever, because I don't know what's your goal. Element training is strength and build muscle, but you focus more on that static strength. So with calisthenic you can build a lot of muscle, but also you can build some amazing strength by training element. I see a lot of people who do like 30 push-ups or 20 pull-ups in a set for 4, 5, 6 sets, but that's more for endurance training. If your main goal is to build a lot of muscle and amazing strength, 
you should remember every advice I told you. I hope you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know in comment what you would like to see next. But also, remember to train really hard.